But when we're talking about solar, what all goes into that industry? What what are, what are the steps in the supply chain uh, to kind of get those panels from manufacture to your home? So it's, I mean, it's a relatively complex industry, right? It's certainly an international industry, um, like a lot of other types of <clears throat> of, of manufactured products. Um, a lot of its manufacturing has has shifted overseas uh, and is based in China and Southeast Asia. Um, <clears throat> but essentially, what you have is you have the solar module, um, which or the panel, as as most people think of it, and it's made of solar cells, right? These individual cells. Um, that are grouped together, and you have basically two different sizes. You have the size that goes on a house or goes into a commercial installation, maybe like on a parking garage or on top of a, a Walmart or a manufacturing facility. And then you have industrial panels uh, for or, or utility uh, scale panels, which are for these giant solar farms that you might see that cover acres and acres of land that a utility company might operate or they might be buying uh, power from. So you have the companies that design the cells, and then assemble them into the modules. And then you have uh, companies that do the installation on residential and commercial. So these are the companies that uh, they're kind of the middleman. They'll buy the, the solar panels and they'll put them on your house and they deal with all the, the, the local licensing and the local permitting. And they work with your utility to tie, the, tie everything into the grid. Uh, but kind of in between, you have companies that are more specialized. Maybe they manufacture mounting hardware to make it easier to install those panels on on your roof, right? Uh, so it's faster for the uh, for the installer. So their labor costs go down, so they can pass the savings along to you, and they can be a little more profitable. They can do more installs in a given amount of time. Uh, then uh, the industry is also becoming smarter in terms of of getting the the most efficient production, uh, measuring it. Uh, making sure that, that you're getting the best production based on how the system's installed. So you're seeing a lot more of, of the electronics in between the panels, which produce DC energy, which is what your car battery uses. And then there are electronics called uh, <clears throat> inverters that convert it to AC energy, which is the energy that your lights in your house and your, your dishwasher and all of those, those devices use. So it, it does that conversion. Um, and you're seeing those devices get smarter and better uh, more efficient, so more of the panel, the sunlight that hits the panel, um, makes it all the way through back to the grid to power your house, improves the costs, makes it more cost effective. So there are a few companies interested that are really interesting in the middle that, that that make that part. And now you have batteries, right? That's that's been one of the big problems that we'll talk about in a little bit is is making sure that solar production matches up with when the grid is able to produce and when actual consumers, energy consumers, are are. Are consuming right, so batteries are becoming a big deal. Being able to store and tap the uh, the solar energy when it's when it's most needed, um, and then on the back end, you you have even more companies involved in the in the um, kind of the utility companies of the solar business. Uh, you have what they call yield co's, which are companies that build these utility scale projects. Maybe they make an investment in in a really big one with other yield co's. And then they actually sell the power to the utility companies, or in some places directly to large industrial users um, on long-term contracts. And these are like really good dividend investments. So uh, whether you're looking for growth, you're looking for a value opportunity, um, whether you're looking for a niche um, kind of special situation company, or if you're an income investor, there's something for everybody in the in the space. But it's really dynamic. There's still a ton of consolidation coming on. It's heavily cyclical. You know, you can see demand go up and down uh, in thirty or forty percent demand swings over you know a year or two. Um, even though we're talking six you know six thousand percent growth over the next thirty years, there are really big cyclical swings that can happen um, from from one year to the next that have significantly impacted uh, solar investors that you need to understand before you go in because you can see you know big losses in a very short period of time that you may have to hold through to kind of come out the other side before the profitability shows up. 